I'm just scrolling to my next college in, uh, information. So UTSA, so that team that I went and watched at Illinois, that beat Illinois, and it was funny because I, I was yelling, they were a fake team or whatever. And the eight people, they were officially the 16th ranked team in the country. That was their highest ranking ever. They've only been around for like seven years, I want to say. I don't know if uh, that is totally correct, but good for them, you know. Keep winning, keep going up the AP rankings. Uh, but unfortunately, once we get into the um, college football committee rankings and talk about that, they were not ranked. So I will go over that in a sec once I get to that information. So let's see, let's see. Oh, so uh, this is kind of a little bit uh, college information, but Jeff Fisher and Marvin Lewis have been selected to lead the American national team for the 2022 NFL PA Collegiate Bowl. So that is the 10th annual game that will take place on January 29th of 2022 at the Rose Bowl. So not only did Jeff Fisher make it on to both podcasts the last two weeks, but he's been mentioned, so... That's a, a kind of little cool information. Uh, let's see. All right, so the CB, CFB, so the College Football Playoff Committee, came out with their rankings, so we will go over that real quick. So at number one, which was Georgia, so I'm not really surprised about that. But they did rank Alabama at two. Uh, after Alabama did lose to unranked uh, Texas A&M, A&M, they got ranked number two. And I think it's a little biased, but it's, you know, with them getting ranked at number two, it almost guarantees if Alabama loses to Georgia in, like, the SEC championship even with two losses, Alabama could still slip in at number four and make the college football playoffs, unfortunately. Um, so it's a little disappointing. Uh, but Michigan State, they were ranked third. So I did say earlier I thought they were three or four, uh, but they did come at uh, come out at three. So they jumped up. Oh, well, this was the first uh, of the college football committee's rankings. But they jumped up compared to the what AP polls. But at four was Oregon. They ranked Oregon at four. They do have a loss to Stanford this year. But early in the season, they did beat Ohio State. And Ohio State came in at five. Because Ohio State lost early in the season to Oregon. So of course, if you want if you lose in college football, you want to lose early. So that you can still build up your resume after that, keep getting better, and try to get in. Because other teams, they're going to be losing later into the season, so they're going to drop down, and that keeps pushing you up. So because they rated Ohio State at 5, they had to put Oregon above them because Oregon beat them. Uh, but ranked at 6 is undefeated Cincinnati. That was a little bit of a slap in their face. Uh, coming in at 7, was Michigan, so Michigan lost to Michigan State. Michigan still has to play Penn State and Ohio State. I think Michigan's going to lose at least one of those games, maybe both of them, so they're going to drop even more. Uh, Oklahoma undefeated is at 8. It's going to be hard climb for them to get in. Uh, well, if Michigan loses, they'll drop. If Cincinnati lost, they would drop. If Ohio State lost, like whoever comes out of – against Ohio State or uh, Michigan State. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in Oklahoma. Coming in at 9 was Wake Forest. Again, uh, Wake Forest is undefeated, but the ACC isn't very good. So uh, Coming in at 10 is Notre Dame. Notre Dame lost to Cincinnati this year. That was their one loss. So again, they kind of lost early. So if teams lose uh, in the next few weeks, they could jump up a little bit. But I don't think they'll make the college football playoffs. Oklahoma State is at 11. Baylor at 12. It's kind of surprising Baylor's been able to turn around their program after Matt Rule left uh, this fast. But they they have a good team. 
Auburn is at 13. Uh, Texas. Oh, I, I don't know why I was saying Texas a and unranked. They're actually at 14. So I guess uh, they rank them pretty high. BYU is at 15. Uh, fun fact, my Boise State Broncos beat them, so their one loss this year is to Boise State, even though Boise State has not been good this year. Old Miss at 16, Mississippi State at 17, Kentucky at 18 is a little bit of a head scratcher. They were undefeated through the first six weeks, but they're not a very good football team, so it's a weird ranking. NC State at 19, Minnesota at 20, Wisconsin at 21, which is a little bit of a head scratcher too because Wisconsin isn't very good, uh, but they got ranked 21. Um and at 22 is Iowa. Iowa's lost the last two games, I believe. They haven't looked very good. Uh, fun fact, uh, someone from my high school, Samuel Florida, we've talked about him before on the podcast, but he plays for Iowa. So I was rooting for them, but they've lost the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Fresno State is at 23. San Diego State is at 24. And Pittsburgh is at 25 uh pittsburgh's probably the second best team in the acc uh behind wake forest they have kenny pickett and he's just so good he's been good this year uh so uh good for pittsburgh but these rankings are going to change there's like three or four weeks of the regular season left and then you have conference championships and then you start the bowl games so we shall see how the rankings change, who ends up making the playoffs. But going, okay, so I was right. So Georgia Southern has made a hire. They did hire former USC head coach Clay Helton. So that is an awesome hire for them. Clay Helton, only six weeks without a job, and he's getting a new job. So it will be interesting to see how he does. Uh, honestly, this is probably kind of like Lane Kiffin and FAU where he's going to be, Clay Helms only going to be there for a year or two until another power five team, uh, opening comes open or gives an opportunity. So, uh, good for uh, Georgia Southern. We'll see what he can do, uh, in that little, uh, there. So again, that is all. I have for college football uh, this week, so uh, I just like talking college football, so I just wanted to just update you guys on, um, you know, college football in the United States, so I hope you have a great rest of the day, and it was fun. Uh, I'm glad you listened, so uh, see you hopefully next week, so thank you. 